Look who's here now. We need this guy, Governor Mike Huckabee, former governor of Arkansas, father of the current governor, but let's not get uh, too bogged down with titles. Governor, the headline in the Washington Post this morning, look at this. Democrats reluctant about Biden 2024, but they see no other choice. Seems like there's uh, not a great deal of enthusiasm, Governor. Well, there's not. It's the old story of the optimist uh, that was falling off a 100-story building, and somebody heard him say at the 80th floor, so far, so good. I mean, I think that that's all the Democrats have these days, is they're just saying, well, we got Joe. I mean, let's face it, Stu. Joe wasn't even awake when this video was released. He was still sound asleep. He'll get up in a couple of hours and say, did it run? And they'll say, yes, Joe, it did. But if you listen to it, Honestly, even in the video, he sounds not like somebody who is going somewhere. He sounds like somebody who's sorry that he's been. And I, I want to just mention this real quickly. That picture of the Target store in San Francisco, to me, says everything one needs to know about Democrats in power. This is how they look at life. They'd rather lock up the merchandise than the people who are stealing it. And that's why we need a serious change in this country. I'm going to steal that line, Governor, and use it a little later in the show. That was a good one. And I, <laughs> I do that. Well, what do you make of the role of, of Kamala Harris? I mean, she's on this team. What do you make of this role? What do you make of this, this duo going forward? She's the only person I know whose own speeches are so bad that they make Joes look coherent. Uh, she's the person that they ship off to foreign countries where she gets into word salad that is well, best described as chop salad because uh, it doesn't make any sense. Hold on, Governor, I, I raised this issue. I just issue, have never seen... But I, I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt you. I, I really hate to do that. Yeah. But it seems the country is in danger here. We've got a president yeah. who is, is, is 80 years old and he is infirm and a vice president in whom there is very little confidence in this country. I think the country is in danger that something, heaven forbid, happens to President Biden. Yeah, we all pray every day that he somehow yes. hangs on we because, uh, you know, the, the person in the bullpen is not exactly able to throw a, a pitch across the plate. I think that's really a concern. But, uh, the, you know, you look at the bigger picture here. Uh, Joe Biden has really no record to run on. He can scream all he wants about MAGA Republicans, but a lot of us would love to see the day when the border was secure. We were doing really historic things in the Middle East. Regulation was uh, under control. Taxes were being cut. Businesses were bringing back manufacturing jobs. And we were energy independent for the first time in 75 years. I'll take that any day of the week and twice on Sunday.